Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. This is another episode of Akaba. First of all, first of all, first of all, I have to, you know now, I cannot start an episode without giving a shout out to my ABNG, my ABN gang. Mm, you guys rock. But first, you have to understand that. <laughs> We have a race. We have a race to catch. We have to double up. Me too. I'm going to double up on my end because I truly want to dance on that Tormeron Bridge. The you understand? Yeah. I want to dance there. But anyways, you know guys, two months, I said, two months we reach 100k subs. Hmm? Well, first of all, we are at 44k now. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I love it, love it, love it. I love the energy. Let's keep going. Okay? <laughs> now, if I say that we should reach 100,000 in three, in two months, and now we've spent two weeks. That means we, in fact, we spent three weeks. We have one month and one week, which is 38 to 40 days. Stay with me here. Now, it means that every week from now, we should be turning out 14,000 subscribers. Yeah. Then, that means that per day, we should be clocking 2,000 subs a day. If we want to achieve this goal. Do you see where I'm going? Now. Also, because we did not meet up our target last week of 14,000. We only made 1,000 subs for the week. Hmm, brothers and sisters. It means that we have 13,000 areas that we are now adding to this week. So, 14 plus 13. That means that this week that we are entering so we are meant to get 27,000 subs. <laughs> what did I say? 27,000 subs. So guys, let's stop playing. Let's double up. Let's watch double up. But enough of that, guys. Um, I appreciate every single subscriber. I appreciate every one of you. And if this is your first time watching my channel, man, you've come to the right place. This is where we have and form a bestie community. And then my core fans, the people who will make sure that I get a thousand views every, like, eight, as I release video, I'm getting 1,000 views. Those are called my ABN gang, Akaban's notification gang. So you're welcome. Please come in the comment section and let me know if you're a new subscriber. I'm going to hit you up. I'm a family man now. Do you understand? So I may be juggling so much, trying to nurse my baby and then also be here in the comment section. I might not be as, you know, um, active as I used to be, but please. I will try my best. But if, of course, um, a lot of people in the community will still show you love. Just let us know you're a new subscriber. You've come to the right place. This is where we talk about the news. We talk about trending topics, what's happening on Twitter. And we put perspective to it. But we're always here to have fun and have a good laugh. I really want to have a relationship with you like on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I feel like I want to know my people and I want my people to know me. And I feel like I want to get to reach out to you guys on a a platform that I feel like I have control so um, I'm gonna be putting out a form a Google form in the community section of my channel community tab I'm going to share the form please guys make sure you check it out fill the form also you can check out my Instagram page at Aka Nani I'm gonna put that link the link to the Google form in my bio if you're a bestie community member if you're an ABN gang if you're a fan on Instagram or you just stumbled upon this I want you to check the form out and please feel it I want to find out what you like who you are you know I want to have personal contact with you I want to be able to call some of you on your birthday do you understand I want to be able to you know rely on you too when I put up content there and tell you that guys who have released video please help me go and populate yes but at the same time too I just feel like you know um, I want to be able to call some people talk to some people share some things with you like guys like giving gifts merchandise giving you guys free stuff or even having like parties with you guys I love that so please let's all connect I really feel like Mm, let's get this bestie community running, man. Shit. Oh. All right, let's go straight into what we have to do today. Yes. 
the Katrina tattoo saga. I'm sure you people must, must have heard about it, but let me start this just from beginning. So there's been this trend going on now, mm? uh, the tattoo trend. <laughs> so it is basically fans putting a tattoo of their celebrities or the celebrities that they like and love and then hoping that the celebrities will notice them, giving them attention and sometimes maybe in kind or cash. This trend started a long time ago. It didn't originate in this country, it didn't originate anywhere. But for the first time in history, a fan was rewarded monetarily, powerfully, and the person that started this thing was Bob Risky. So a girl, a lady, said she had loved Bob Risky so much and then she tattooed Bob Risky on her back, on her body. Then Bob Risky notices and says, hey, this love is much. I am going to give you a love. I'm going to give you one million naira. I'm going to give you latest iPhone. I'm going to also take you to Dubai. Ah, it was a blow. In fact, somebody else tattooed, another person tattooed. In fact, there was some other guy that tattooed Davido. I think Davido even like, you know, like blessed him or something with, I'm not sure. I don't know. But I think Davido, Whiskey, them, they've had people tattoo it. But I don't think they pay much, plenty attention to it. Maybe they just said thank you or maybe whatever. But Bob Risky of recent, started like you know um giving monetary material you know gifts to this basically encouraging it or appreciating in a way that might incite some bad behavior then um naira mali can you guys remember the last episode that i posted the gen z vessels millennial war guys go and watch it it is an amazing episode so in that Gen Z, I mean, Naira, there is a girl that I showed you now that she was saying that ah, um, Naira Mali, sister, the Naira Mali followed her. So that girl tattooed Naira Mali's this thing, picture on her body. Naira Mali now followed her back on Twitter. She started crying. Ah, Naira Mali, ah. In fact, what my wife told me today that what she was saying in Yoruba was that Naira Mali, you have not seen anything. See this girl weeping with her soul, like. Naramali, I've not seen anything. I'm going to tattoo your... I'm going to even tattoo you on my private part. I'm going to tattoo you on my private part. Like, you've not seen anything. I will show you I love you, girl. Ah, Naramali, follow me. I was just like, is it like that? Don't tell me that's what she was saying. She said, Aka, that's what she was saying. So there's been a trend. Anyways, Katrina clocks in on this. And then, um, I mean, first of all, before we even clock in that, one girl goes in and then does the same thing for Katrina. Katrina is a lady who comes out, who came out of the BB Niger house and became like a celeb, like, you know, very popular. So she's like a, the celebs that, she's one of the celebs that blew from the BB house, BB Niger house. And this girl is a diehard fan. So she goes and writes Katrina's name on her thigh, on her lap, and then, Katrina now comes out with this video. Katrina comes and tells her trash. I don't like that, that um, nasty, this thing, uh, tattoo that you put on your skin. I don't want you to do such. In fact, let's watch the video. I'm just here to talk about this particular girl who drew my, or tattooed my name on her tie, Katrina. That's the video. And that's the picture like how can you do something like this to your own body tattoo is permanent if you love me if you're my fan there are ways you can actually show that by always posting my pictures always on my comment section um, always attending my events and everything just to see me take pictures with me not tattooing my name on your body guys this is wrong celebrities that encourage these fans needs to stop how can you be giving this naive fans money to tattoo your face for tattooing your their, your face or your name on their body when you know this is really wrong to themselves and like it's totally wrong yeah what this girl said now is it wrong answer me is it wrong no she made sense I mean, this is a lot. 
I mean, I, I really appreciate your love, but I feel like, you know, you're taking it too far. Uh, don't put my name on your body. I mean, cool advice. That's the advice that a parent will give a child. That's the advice a senior will take a look at that. Tattoo na permanent thing, no. don't go that far. I know you love, but show your love in other ways. It's constructive. Mm -hmm. But you didn't know the back story. But before we go there, let's also play what this girl now said when she saw that video. The impact it had on her. Oh, hello people. Like, I didn't really do this for cash. Like, I didn't write Katrina's name is not for me to write. I didn't do it for cash. I only did it. It's called fans love, writing her name. It's for me to just still have a memory that, okay, I have this particular celebrity that I really love so much. And I write her name on my thigh. But she bashing me this way. It's just like, I feel really bad. Like, people are coming to my DMs and saying all sort of things. Like, wait, like, she, okay, she wrote it online, like on Twitter, like, oh, if anybody write my name, like, she'll be happy. I did it for her Twitter, okay, fine. I'm a number one fan. I, that was, I know that she's just like, she's like, oh, she was like, oh God, like, I feel really bad right now. People coming to my DM, like, so, I, so like, this is just too much for me to take it right now. Like, the fan came back in tears. Ah. Katrina said, no, I don't like such. Fan came back in tears. What's actually doing me is how, like, you can see how distraught this girl is. So I was just like, ah, ah. But what is actually sad about this? First of all, let me tell you guys what's actually so sad. Because when I watch this video, I was like, chai, chai, chai. Plenty of you don't understand where this girl's coming from because she got attacked on social media. Let me read some of the comments. And this is from Linda KG Blog. You know I will never go to Insta Blog. Uh, before I go to Insta Blog, it will be last chance, last last, last resort. That's, there's no other place that is posting the story. But let's hear from Linda KG's blog. These people that were commenting, even as she put this video, you are a very stupid girl. Why you not draw your papa and mama? Pick, why you don't draw your papa and mama picture? Silly girl. Kati, I have beginning to be loving you. The girl must be crazy. Who is Katrina that one should have her tattoo on her body? Another person, you be fool. Ew, ew, ew. Change the name to Katrina. <laughs> now that Katrina says she don't want. <laughs> Who send you work? Misplaced priorities. It's okay. I understand how you feel. Just take it easy. Take it as a learning curve. Oh, this was even somebody that was nice. Another person said you are a disgrace. What is this fan madness all about? Oriety Daru. Omo rada 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 da 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 da. There are some very long ones. I don't even have time for that. Tattoo never reach one week. Tattoo never reach one week. You are already regretting your decision. Think before taking steps. All of you are doing this tattoo thing. I'm mad new. Psycho everywhere. Psycho everywhere. So if these are the tweets that are outside, imagine the ones that would have gone into a DM to finish her. The ones that will laugh at her. And, and you know Nigerians, I don't trust them. They but I praised her when she brought out the first tattoo and they said, oh, wild. Some might have insulted that, oh, you want money, let's see. But now that Katrina has now said, ah, dears, please, people have come for her. I can imagine the inserts, the inserts that she'll be getting. But do you know what's funny? Why is this so sad? First of all, my first point, there is nothing that used to pain past First drag. <laughs> God. Nothing is to pain like that. See, when internet drag you, that first time that you chop internet drag you, it de pain. Oh. So when this guy said, huh? <laughs> I could understand. Take it from somebody who's been dragged more than once, but twice. Dragged in the mud. But seriously, the second one mm, is a joke. But that first one that I was dragged by Twitter because of what I said about China. Hey, Jesus. I was on my bed like this. 
a pain. A joke. So I understand where this comes when you start when you hear those comments, when you read those comments, when people give you, when people enter your soul, insult your family. It's painful. So and this girl is young. Me that even had thick skin. I know how he almost entered. I in fact, let me know a lie, he entered. But I was supported and surrounded by love. People who care about me. So I can imagine this child. Because a girl who already went to have the freedom and wherewithal to tattoo. Katrina on her body is not surrounded by good people. She doesn't have good friends and she doesn't have a solid family system. It's either she's not, her mother and her father don't have control of her life or they didn't train her well. That's my oh no. Mm -hmm. The second thing I said about this is that the rejection of a loved one. That a loved one rejected her. Yeah, yeah. After doing this video for love, the, the loved one now said, please dear, stop it. I don't like these jokes. So, what I was now thinking, like, what, what, what caused all this violence on the streets? Because there is now a case of two, bl two blind people. In fact, this is a case of a blind person trying to lead the, another blind person. These two people are both insane. Do you know why? Because another sad thing, a little bit on my next point of sad event, another sad thing is that Katrina has already released tweets. She released tweet earlier on. On the 9th of February, this is the tweet that Katrina herself released when she saw this trend going on. She said, Who will tattoo the boss lady on their body now? Boss nation, over to you. <laughs> she was the one that said, Boss nation, over to you. Who will tattoo boss lady on their body? On one hand, one kanagi. She asked them to do it. She told them to go and tattoo. So, that's what's sad. After telling them and encouraging them, somebody now going to do it. It's like Katrina didn't know that somebody will have the guts, the audacity to do it. But she trust Gen Z now. Gen Z? Oh, they will do it. Too. She didn't understand. She didn't know. She thought that she only had millennials as her fans. So, on, that's what I'm saying. Is On this hand, she's the one that caused this girl's misfortune. She led the girl to the gutter. The girl entered the gutter. Then, uh, trailer bashed the girl. Now, she has denied the girl. But on the other hand, one can argue that that's not what she said. <laughs> that's not what she said. Read the tweet with me, guys. Who will tattoo the boss lady on their body now? Boss nation, over to you. She asked them to tattoo boss lady. Not Katrina. My nigga. <laughs> boss lady can be generic. Anybody can use boss lady. If you put boss lady there, in three years time, if you don't love me, at least boss lady is still you. Because I want to be the leader of a pack of people who, or pack of women who call themselves bosses. So boss lady, you, if you do boss lady, you yourself can be a boss lady. I want to mentor people who are bosses. So that will be good for you. It's you and yourself and your body, please. But this girl now went to write her name, Katri. Nah. She was like, nah, fam, nah, nah. So now another thing that I said, like I said, the inserts. But have inserts ever killed anybody? In the words of Babriske. Now, people saw this girl's message, her video. I was like, ah, this girl, Katrina, that video that she made, you obviously know that she's talking about Babriske. Oh, yes, because he's the one that was giving money and everything. So, for her to say that, Bob Risky responded. Now, let's go to that. Hey, to those saying I'm encouraging those who tattoo my name by giving them money is wrong. Madam, Madam, just come out and say you are broke. We will understand. <laughs> we all know it's not all that glitters on IG that are real gold. Firstly, it's my money. I can give it to anyone I like. What about those ones I have helped without my picture tattoo on their body? You were blind to talk then. If you were broke to support your own fans, well, I'm not broke to support mine. So get that in your empty skull. We are one country. So, 
as that one was happening, everybody was just like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Did you people see real famous video? Watch this video, please. A fancy helicopter, nice house in the woods. You might be wondering what this man does for a living. Stockbroker, real estate agent, wrong. He's a celebrity tattooee. I dropped out of school this morning and by this evening, I made a million as a celebrity tattooee. Um, in the face of adversity, somebody's face on my skin has uh, made me money. Uh, tattooism has been really profitable. Um, I tattoo celebrity names on my body, all in the name of uh, making money. You can call it a good exchange. Uh, you can also call it a uh, tit for tat too. Tattooing a celebrity name or face on your body has become lucrative of late and can fetch you up to 1 million naira per tattoo from that celebrity. However, one such celebrity who wanted to remain anonymous warns of the risks. Hi guys, be careful who you tattoo. Highest you can get from some celebrity is like or comment. Some celebrity are broke hearts. <laughs> if I run out of body, I'll just eat more food. Woo! We've just recovered from round one, just like laughing and everything. Then, ah, Ada Ame now sent her own response to this. She finished the girl. Now, I'm going to put a link in my description to Ada Ame's video. I'm not going to play it in this video. But let me give you a summary of the things she said. Number one, parents need to train their children better. Because if you train your children, we'll be seeing less of this in society. Parents need to train their kids. So where are the fathers, where are the mothers? And where are kids acting this way? Why are our youths acting this way? One is saying that she will tattoo a fan on her private part. Another one is, 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 is dying to tattoo another name or, or, of a name of a of somebody who we don't even <sighs> let me know I can't judge you know we know we are we are not God we can't judge anybody but yeah I wanted to say something but I I have my comment yeah but you have to know the quality and the the, the caliber of people who you call role models what kind of life do you want to live that this company is your role model wow Number two, there is fan love and there is destructive love. There is a part that you know that it could be destructive. And that's where wisdom comes to play for the creative, for the, um, the celebrity, to know how to handle situations like this. You can't just come out and reject someone like that. What if the person can be it, it destructive? Well, the truth is, there could be this, if this was a case of destructive love because this girl, after dealing with so much rejection, getting so much hate and insert from the internet, she decided to try an attempt at suicide. I mean, overreacted? Mm -hmm. I'm not God. I don't know. I don't know the quality, the quality and composite of her human soul. But for someone to go that far, you know, it's crazy. It's not a joke. So what Adama may say was like, this is where you need wisdom to know how you handle situations. So, third point that Adam said, she said, in essence, Katrina is a celebrity, not a celebrity. That's what she said. She actually even called her a stupid girl. Ah, look, let me tell you something. When I watched that video, everything Adam said, I stand by it. Auntie Ada, I stand by you. Oh, see, the truth is, us young ones, oh, we can't, we can't um, really step in, you know, because, there's a way you can't talk to your mate. You've let them... In fact, what was my... What was, she's not my mate. Maybe Katrina is, I think, Gen X. So this was between even Gen X and Gen Z. So a Gen X person is meant to know how to handle this case. You have to be wiser more normally. You understand? But then, at the army was like, See, I am your mother. If nobody will tell you the truth, I will come and tell you the truth. You are a stupid girl. <laughs> Go and watch the video, guys. Wholeheartedly. But let me tell you people this something. The mistake is that if this girl, Katrina, makes a mistake to respond to Adame and insult her or fight back, her career is over because we will come out. Eh? First of all, everything Adame said was right. It was true. She also said, mm, Adame also said that there are two wrongs. Oh, the girl, 
get your own way. They get way to the tattoo. However, I don't want to settle on that one, which is a prerogative. She wants to settle on the celebrity that caused this issue. You went to tweet something, somebody went to do, you now come out and do that. Oh my God. I love the energy Adam may give us. Please, please, please. But Katrina, just do yourself a favor and not respond because if you do, you will see me and we enter that violence and we drag you on the streets. That your wig, I'm going to tear it off your head. Just don't respond to that young man. And what she has said to you, take it under correction. On, you understand? Use it and pack wisdom and change. Now, what are my final thoughts on this? Because we got to run. Now, people are human beings and people make mistakes. People make mistakes. So, let's not be too hard on both people. Let's not be too hard on Katrina. We can tell her the truth, but also um, not use it to judge her. So, we can tell her the truth. And I like what Amanda, like I said, I like what she did. And that's okay. Do you understand? But if this, I'm hoping that she will turn a new leaf or change or get better. We also don't know the issues people have. Some people think that maybe she's allegedly bipolar. It is okay, like, because it was too much. You can't say something and somebody comes and do it. And you seriously come and make that kind of video. Hey, oh, Jesus. It was too bad. So, um, people are, number three, why I say people are human and people make mistakes. is because <laughs> Katrina, where they cruise, Katrina, where they loud, like, she they loud normally, allegedly. Maybe that day that she tweeted that tweet, she was high. Maybe she was even laughing and joking. She didn't know that people take it literally. Maybe she was high or something. You understand? And then they now took her literally. And then she, she, I mean, she made a mistake which might or put out something which did not reflect her true intention or her true heart. And then this happened. Number two, I'm just like, hey, my dear, is it because you are afraid now to go and give somebody five? Nobody pressured you to give money. Now, Romani didn't give that girl money. He just followed her on Twitter. You didn't have to do the same thing. And nobody said that the girl did that because of money. There is a way you could have shown appreciation back. Number three thing that I think Katrina could have done. Katrina could have in the public covered that girl. See, because these celebrities, first of all, let me tell my colleague something. Celebrities don't know how to use the influence they have, especially for, especially when it's galvanized for good. They only know how to use it for their own personal aggrandizement, for their own personal benefit. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you, you, you can cover this girl. In public, you could have said, oh my God, I appreciate and everything. But in private, you say, see, that thing I said was Jogo. I don't really think that this was a smart move. Don't do this kind of thing again. You can even try and see if you can pay for lesser tattoo remover. Stuff like that. In private. You know the kind of crazy fans, instant block fans you people have in your BB and Jack following. So, you should be having more wisdom to do. You understand it. So, stop this kind of lifestyle. I don't even know. And like Adam Ame said again, tell yourself the truth. Because the truth is, so many people are living a lie. To the point that they don't even know the truth again. They don't know themselves. People are living lies out there. And again, like I said, I want to touch on something that I said. Celebrities using their influence for good. Ah. I remember one time where two celebrities, huge celebrities were having a quarrel. Having a fight. They were, you know, a music group together. And then they were splitting. It caused, and this was way back. It was such a heavy, it was crazy, heavy scandal. People were talking and crying and shouting. People in Kenya were rolling on the floor. People in Tanzania were tearing their bra. Everybody was sad that these people were, you know, saying splitting and fighting. And all they were doing was coming on Twitter, online, shouting and fighting at each other and blaming them. And I was just like, this is the power these guys have? This is the power these guys have? And they cannot channel this influence for political change. Hi, I remember this was way back. I felt this was such a waste. At the quality of celebrities we have in Nigeria and in Africa, with the problems we have, we celebrities don't have the luxury to only do things for our benefits. No, we must give back. It is not our generation that should enjoy, only enjoy what we do. No, we have to pave the way for a new generation that we come and enjoy the work that we did. What will you tell God you use your influence to do? This is the kind of influence that we were... I mean, thankfully, when it came to these answers, a lot of celebrities, I thank that one, I give them a hand. A lot of us went out there and we tried to bring, you know, positive positivity to it and use our influence for that. So, I mean, like, that's... We should do more of that instead of doing all these nonsense 
Do you understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this led to a girl attempting to commit suicide. It's quite sad. Please and please and please advise your loved ones to make better decisions. This is the end of my episode, guys. If you really loved it, please make sure you subscribe, share this video with your loved ones and your friends. And I mean, please, I'd like to see in the comment section. Bye, guys. Bye.